Alright then, hello, 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 everybody. The mood is up, and so my, and he, we're here with a, a new story he called Guardians of Life. Now, I'm currently writing this as I speak, so there are, there are some chapters that aren't really um, up yet. However, there are I'll read whatever I have so far, and then upload, hope, then, then publish more chapters, then record some more words. <laughs> and by the way, swearing will not be censored. Aha! I found you! Oh crap, I, I say as I put my viola down and make my way out of the room. See you guys in an hour! I made my way out of the orchestra room with, my, with a dark night chasing me. My friends have been, been through this so many times before, so they get it. Wait a minute. Hey, you don't know me or what's going on. That's okay. I'll explain. Hi, I'm Tyler White. A chocolate brown hair guy with matching eyes. <coughs> Everyone says I have devilish looks with my warm personality and you know, cream white skin. Cream white skin. Jeez. I'm the guy who loves the spotlight with the view of my voice and acting my own plays, even if I'm a little over dramatic sometimes. Now that you know me a bit better, now it's time to explain why I'm running from a dark night and what that is. A dark night is pretty much the result of a devil and a fallen angel after mating season. Since both are evil, dark knights want to take care to take control of the world as we know it with the help of of regular human beings by turning into said human being you know, like your mother and make it seem as though she killed the president of the United States. Now it's time to explain why one of them is chasing me. The night before school started, a girl fell through my thankfully open window who crashed into my belongings. She said her name was Rain. She was a powerful being called a guardian. I was her brother I needed to take her ring, master my water powers, and find the other three skies, Hines, Flair's cousin, and Bloom's daughter, before the Dark Knights take them, or the rest of the world will be damned. Our words, not mine. Be for the rest of returning, because we're the only ones who can put an end to the Dark Knights before they make the world even more terribly terrifying than it is today. She said all of that before she turned into water. Her and made my carpet floor wet. <laughs> Sorry, a bit sick. So, yeah. I have to find three people who, who could be anywhere in the world before Dark Knights. And he's find one of them, changing them, and making me the bad guy while doing homework and prepare for concerts. What a way to start my second year of high school, isn't it? Now let's get back to the action happening right now. I don't know how to use my water powers other than <coughs> other than in little ways which does little damage to this kind of dark night since it's a, a dark earth night. If this was a dark fire then, then that would be a different story but water does little damage to the other dark nights and my water powers only, really only power dark water nights even more. It's a pain when there's only one guardian in the school after hours. I've made my way to the science wing since, still, nah, since the school has uh, was built by idiots who made two third floors. And I'm not kidding about that. And when I bumped into someone, I recognize, <coughs> I recognize that dark, uh, uh, that dark, hmm. I recognize that dark chocolate brown uh, with red bangs anywhere. It's the Conley Wild writer from Creative Writing. You you don't know her. Let me quickly tell you about her. <laughs> her name's Tessa Knight. She tends to be quiet, but she loves to write, and whatever she writes is like a work of art, even if she says that none of her stories will ever be completely original. She wears a red, blue, purple, orange, and green foxtail just for fun, for all of her so for all of her sophomore year and will wear spell that wrong but 
and Clint will wear it all over the time her junior year. Where she danced to music before and while still writing in her journal. Right before class and ro- while writing, mm, uh, skipping. She used to wear elf ear. Uh, she used to wear elf earbuds, but got them upgraded to wireless headphones. And she has dark chocolate brown hair and with you know, chocolate brown eyes, you know, like mine. She dyed her bangs and the under of her hair red. And she can sing too, but she's not in choir like me. And now that you know the kind fox girl from school, well, let's get back to reality. Tyler, no time to explain. Look out! And she said as she pushed me aside. And as she stopped the dark earth night, it hissed in pain. Wait, she didn't touch it. Rain's brat did good. He found someone. It said before it disappeared into the ground. Rain Sprat, you got, you got, you got to explain right now, Ty. Long story short, I related to someone that protects the world from dark, or from night rejects, and I need you to find three other people who are to help me save the world from an even worse version than it is now. Do you know anyone who named Rain, Bloom, Flare, or Sky? Sky rings a bell. Really? Yeah, a guy f- it came from the sky, no pun intended, is saying that I'm his niece when I never heard of him. Then again, my dad's adopted, so I could be he anyone else's niece. Was he the guardian of air? Yeah. He had his beautiful hair clip. What? Tis them. <laughs> oh, people who know exactly who I am will know oh, how cringy. Yeah, I am with names. <laughs> now, Tessa, please tell me yeah, that you weren't framed for anything. Have, have you? No, or not that I know of, at least. Good. Well, now, come with me, Guardian Fair. I've got to keep you safe, I say as I took her by the hand. I feel, I find it a bit weird that I'm taking a junior girl who with me back to the orchestra room. But I didn't, didn't know where else to go at the moment, as she loves to listen to me and my friends play. <laughs> and, the re- and there's a reason why yeah, the word play is blue in here. This is the link to the first story, and you get to see my keyboard. <laughs> uh, where is- oh yeah, time skip because I said so. She recorded us playing and ready to and for YouTube when her phone rang, ringed. Excuse me, real quick. Her mom had to go to work, so her dad was waiting for her. She quickly, we cook. Uh, we quickly exchanged phone and numbers and before she left, and she showed me a little air trick. Thank goodness I found one of the guardians, and now fire dark nights will be easier. Now, that's all for the chapter called Air. I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed this, this, um, this story I made, which is pretty much, uh, pretty much original. So, I guess I'll see y'all next time. Bye.